Hello again, welcome back, it's Brubecue, and today on the menu, uh, it's summer, wanted something a little fresh, something a little spicy. We've got bluefin tuna, we're doing it blackened on the Yoder, it's gonna come out amazing. Let's get to it. All right, this is what we're working with, some amazing bluefin ahi tuna. We're gonna get it blackened, we're gonna get it seared. Let's get the spices going. So, all right, so if you don't know what blackening is, it's basically like a Creole, like Louisiana style food. Uh, basically what you do is you take a bunch of seasonings, a bunch of uh, you know spices, stuff like that. We're gonna coat the meat with it, and then we're gonna brush it with some clarified butter, which basically is just butter that you've removed all the fat solids and uh, moisture from. Gives it a little bit higher uh, searing temperature, uh, you know, but basically we're gonna be basting this thing with butter, and then we're throwing it onto a skillet that's about 600 degrees. You want the thing white hot. And uh, what that's gonna do is it's gonna basically just create this nice black crust on the top of it with all those seasonings. Absolutely incredible. So the seasonings are pretty simple here. Uh, there's quite a few of them, but you know, it's just a, a rub. So we've got one quarter cup of Tony Catchery's Creole seasoning. Now, if you don't know what that is, that's this stuff. And I, to be honest, I use this stuff on everything. It's good, just great on chicken by itself, but you can basically use this to replace the salt of anything that you're using. So we're gonna use a quarter cup of that in. We've got a quarter cup smoked paprika. We're gonna go two tablespoons black pepper. And then just a tablespoon each of, we've got ground New Mexico chili. We have cayenne pepper. Some ground thyme. Thyme, thyme. I'm pretty sure it's thyme. Uh, both a tablespoon of onion and garlic powder. And then we're just gonna mix that up with our hands, get it nice and incorporated. All right, so that's done. It's got a great red earthy color to it. it smells absolutely incredible. So this will go off to the side next for the tuna. Okay, so this is probably the biggest chunk that I have. We're just gonna wanna get this to about inch and a half, two inches maybe. Uh, we're gonna sear this super high, but it's gonna be really short. It's only gonna be like two to three minutes per side. And uh, the, the middle's gonna stay a little bit rare, but it's uh, the texture and flavors are just gonna be incredible. So we'll go about right here. And that's about what you want. This is gonna be about perfect. So let me get the uh, rest of these finished cut up here. Okay, so now that that's all done, we're just gonna coat these generously with that uh, mixture that we just made, the spice mixture. A lot of this, because of the heat and the temperature and everything, you can go a little bit heavier handed than you normally would. The, the heat's gonna like burn off a lot of the flavor and mellow it out. So let's get this nice and coated. Okay, so here we go. This is nice and coated. This is exactly what we're looking for. You can see it's just looking amazing. So let's get these things up to the uh, Yoder and uh, get these things going. All right, so here we go. We got the Yoder griddle hooked up in here. Uh, we've got the Yoder set to 600 degrees and I know it's hot, but like I said, you really want this thing white hot to get that nice real sear and, and lock in all that heat. So we've got our tuna, we've got our clarified butter here. And like I said, we're just gonna brush this on here you could technically dredge it or dunk it in if you want I'm just gonna kind of base it on all right and then we are just going straight on to a dry grill uh, you can see by all the smoke this is something you want to do outdoors uh, camp stove you know, if you, obviously if you don't have the cast iron uh, griddle here from Yoder, you can use a cast iron pan, it works just as good. But I recommend highly doing this outside because there's gonna be a lot of smoke. All right, so now that we got all the fish on here, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna um, butter the top of everything now. And this is gonna go quick, so you really kinda need to be prepared for this. We're only doing about two to three minutes per side. All right, so now we're gonna flip these. This is what I'm talking about though. You can see this awesome blackening that's happening here. And uh, that's just gonna add so much flavor. 
So obviously I can fit a lot of fish on this giant grill here. If you have just a cast iron pan, you're doing a lot. It's really important that you get, you know, uh, the, the, you allow the cast iron skillet to come back up to temperature. Uh, the, the heat is where this is all about. You really want this thing screaming hot so you get this, this awesome blackening going on here. Okay, I think we're about done. The second side only takes about a minute. The first side, two to three minutes. Uh, so let's get these things off, get them cut up and see what we got working here. We just pulled the tuna off. We're gonna need something to drink with it. Makes it my favorite time of the day, which is beer time. And uh, today we're going with Absolution's uh, Java Fett, which is a stout. I wanted something to kind of hold up to this. So uh, let's give this thing a try. Can's kind of funny, it's got Java Fett apparently uh, chilling on the couch. There you have it. It's got that nice brown, chocolatey, foamy uh, head going there. Definitely a lot of coffee flavors. Some chocolate coming off the nose here. Let's uh, dive straight in. It's actually a really good, straightforward stout. A lot of, a lot of chocolate and coffee coming off of that. It's gonna, I think, pair nicely with this tuna. So uh, let's get onto this tuna, huh? All right. So we're just gonna cut this kind of thin here. And that is exactly what we're looking for. Check out the nice crust on here. Still a little rare inside the middle. Let's give this thing a try. All right, the flavors that are coming off of that tuna are so good. The blackening just gives you like such a... I'm at a loss of words. <laughs> you get the spices, you get that fresh tuna. I mean, Put this on a salad, put it just as itself with some veggies on the side. This is absolutely incredible. I can't wait to finish some of this up. You guys, thank you for showing up. We're barbecuing. Don't forget to subscribe. We appreciate any comments, likes, thumbs up, all that good stuff. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers.